Hey gems, it's your girl Crystal O and we are excited to share that we are going to be moving to Dallas, Texas. We want to take you guys on this journey to home ownership once more. Um, this will be more brief because we are buying a new home and we did choose a new build to go with. So we'll just take you on a tidbit of the journey and kind of show you guys what we're working with. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe, like this video, comment below if you're from Dallas, live in Dallas, or have ever visited Dallas. I would love to hear your thoughts. So we are going to go ahead and just kind of look at the models that they have available. And then we're going to tour this property that we just stopped by in an earlier clip. And this is basically what it's looking like. All right. So on this first home on the right, we have this beautiful office space with these well lit windows. Um, the room is basically lit up and I love it. After that, on the left, we have the washer and dryer room. I love, love, love these tiles. They're honestly so cute. And yeah, I can definitely see us having tiles like that. So after that, let's open up this closet here. This looks like maybe a coat closet for guests. And then here's a side table. Um, upgrades are the standard. That's why I honestly loved going with this builder for this home. All right, and then here we have the bathroom. And again, I love the tile. And then there's me. She cute or whatever. Anyways, moving along, we have this closet for linen here. And then over here we have what looks like a guest bedroom. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but this is what the aesthetics of the rooms are. And then in here we have a closet. It's not really that big, but you know, it's decent for the guests. You know, you don't want them to stay forever. So I guess, yes, it's appropriate. <laughs> uh, anyways, this room is lovely. Um, it's not massive, but it's not bad for a guest bedroom, to be honest. It also comes with its own shower, so that's pretty convenient. Here we have the living room and the kitchen area. I love how the island is white and the cabinets are white. Y'all know I love a good, just minimal look. Uh, the pantry is a decent size. And yeah, I just really love the tile on the backsplash. That's what they call it, right? Backsplash. <laughs> but anyways, here's the backyard. I definitely like the size of this backyard. Our last backyard was massive, so I definitely don't want a big backyard to have to take care of. Like homeowner, you know, knowledge 101. Like buy a backyard you can take care of. So anyways, this is the living room area. This is going to be towards the master's bedroom. I'm just really loving the decor in this house. Like, what do y'all think? Do y'all love this decor? Would you go for a different look? Um, but here's the bathroom. It is lovely. Again, I love the tiling on the floor. And here's a little, you know, towel closet. And yeah, I just really think this is super cute. And that's me again. Here's the bathroom where the toilet is. And then we're going to move along to the shower. And then from there, we're going to go to the closet. And the closet is pretty big. Not going to lie, this closet is pretty big. It even has like an around the corner kind of, you know, deal. And you can literally have a little nook in there. You know, it's where I can hide from Yinka whenever... <laughs> whenever I don't know whenever I'm going to play hide and seek or something so anyways um, up the stairs we go but before we do let's look at the fireplace well at least the, like uh, the, the electronic fireplace so this fireplace actually does give off heat when the heater is on which is pretty cool um, so yeah that's gonna be I think that's in every home so I think that's really cute aesthetically all right, now up the stairs we go. Gotta get this workout in real quick. Gotta get my steps in. Um, all right, so here we are. This is the kind of the game room, living room area. And then further into the game room, living room area, 
we do have a little there's like a little movie theater room I thought this was really cute and then after that when we go down this way there is a bedroom right here on the right and then there's another bathroom over here After that, we have a closet, probably a towel closet. And then over here on And then over here, we have a another bathroom. Wow, lots of bathrooms, lots of bathrooms. And then we have another bedroom. <laughs> lots of bedrooms and lots of bathrooms. So yes, as you can see, this house has lots of rooms and okay, closet space. This closet space is not bad. So there are lots of rooms and lots of bathrooms in this in this property. And this is going to be just a closet, I guess a storage closet. This is going to be a linen closet. And I think that's basically about it. Let me know what y'all thought about this home. I loved it, but unfortunately this home is currently on back order. It wasn't going to be available in time for us. It was like available later in 2022 and we need the home like ASAP. So yeah. We are going to go ahead and move on to Home number two. So here's home number two, and it is in the process of being, you know, finished. On the left, we have like a little office room, or it could be a bedroom. And then further along, we have the garage area over here. And after that, it looks like they're working, so we're gonna try to carefully. This is the washer room, so basically where the washer and dryer would go. This is the kitchen area, and this is the guest bathroom, just like a little pop in, not guest bathroom, but just like a half bath. So just a sink and a toilet. Here's the kitchen, of course, love, love, love the white cabinet and the white backsplash. And then after that, the island is also white as well. I know you guys can't see underneath. Uh, it does have this cathedral ceiling that I really like. So that's basically in most of the properties. And I, I like the cathedral look. It's really cute. So anyways, there you can kind of see that hole where the fireplace is going to go. And then here the, is where the backyard would be. They would of course zone it off where that orange you know strip is but this is basically what the backyard would look like all right so moving along to the master bedroom this is basically what the master bedroom would look like what i do love is the lighting in this room definitely has a lot of windows this is what the bathroom looks like here definitely a lot smaller than the other property we looked at first but this closet though it's pretty big size pretty good size it's not a bad closet at all here we have that tile or backsplash i really hope that's what it's called because i've been calling that it this the whole time so let's hope for the best but anyways like i said they have a million windows downstairs which i love and then we're going to go ahead and go upstairs, but walk carefully to avoid stepping on any nails. And here we have that living room area. We have a guest room over here or just a room over here. And then there's also going to be a bathroom over here. Someone's working in there. And 
and then there's gonna be another room on the left right here closet Yinka's over here trying to take measurements with his feet of the room <laughs> and then here's another room this room is nice because there's a lot of lighting and I love that here's a closet and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the third property we'll be viewing for today so here is one that is underway with the building um, we're gonna go ahead and go inside of it um, and then okay when we first walk in to the left we have this open space um, and basically this could be for a dining room it could be for a room it could be for an office um, you really can do whatever with it I think here we have like a washroom um, and then here would be the kitchen area and the island it's kind of where you got to visualize everything <laughs> but yes this is kind of what that would look like then we have the living room area and um, again this is with the cathedral ceiling so I really do like that um, let's see after that we kind of have this master bedroom over here um, it's kind of hard to like get an idea of what it's going to look like but um, yeah so here's the bathroom here's the frame of the bathroom and this is looks like it's the toilet or the countertop i don't know y'all but yeah this is basically what the frame looks like of the third property we're viewing and um yeah this is kind of what we're working with right now all right so i'm gonna go ahead and head out of the master bedroom just so i can show you all more of the home so upon leaving we can go look upstairs and this is basically the frame of what the upstairs would look like you can go ahead and walk up these steps carefully because like i said nails can be sticking out and that would not be good for my foot all right so up here we have the um, living room kind of game room area and then we also um, have a bathroom here on the right as you can see there's a tub and then um, yeah so there's a tub right there and then this is probably going to be I don't know I can't remember but anywho y'all you get the gist of it um, let me know your thoughts on um, all three properties uh, the best you can and feel free to comment below if you have any questions we're really excited for the move and can't wait to share more with you all make sure to subscribe if you are not subscribed already and I'll see you guys next time bye